Cameron Leary's home run gave BC some momentum, but it shows you how potent this offense is for Florida State and how good the pitching staff is when they can settle in. He was 0 for 4 with a walk and a run scored yesterday. Waves through a 93 mile an hour fastball and strikeout number one for John West. So three and two from West early to Tibbs and that is into right center field and down for a hit. So Tibbs goes after a fastball. It's bobbled by Leary in right center and Tibbs has no problem to get to second base. And brought Florida State's lead as he fouls this one. Down the first base side, Kyle Wolf over, and he makes the catch to end the inning. As we mentioned, the SOCON Conference. Just like Jarrett, the head coach of UNC Greensboro. Here's a ball and a right that drops in for Dinges. He's going to try for two, and the throw actually ends up pretty close, but Dinges is in. A double to start the second inning on a bloop into no man's land and right. Over short and into center field as it skips through the outfield for a base hit. Can't do trying for second. He's there and he brings in a run. Dinges scores an RBI double for Cantu. So maybe not traditional doubles back to back, but it works all the same and it's one nothing Seminoles. Ain't anxiety there. Swing and a miss. So Holbrook strikes out and the strikeout completed at first base by Landwehr. Right there for strike three. That's a slider out to left field. Ferrer coming on, he can't make the play. And it's behind him to the fence. Wang's around second base, trying for third. Ferrer's gonna throw it there himself, but Wang is in. Up the middle and through. Samini goes after the first pitch and ties the game. RBI single for Vince Samini as Wang scores. Now two and two to Carraher. He clips it into the mid of Holbrook for strike three. That one does get away. To the backstop and Samini up to third base. To third, chopper for Smith. And he gets the out, which of course they have. Two more opportunities to get here this weekend. That is caught in center field by Cam Leary. So he takes away a hit from Max Williams. Today so far, Tibbs batting again with no one on. This is down the left field line, shifts on. So if it's fair, it's in for extra bases. And it is. Tibbs gets a double for the second time in the game with two outs. Breaking ball, line to center and in for a base hit. Tibbs around third base and Florida State takes the lead back. Two doubles to start this game. Tinges to short, high hop for McNulty, goes the short way to second and gets the out there. Sam McNulty starts for Boston College here in the home third. Two to one lead, Florida State, that is up the middle and through. So Boston College with the leadoff batter on here in back-to-back -back innings. Here is Adam Magpock, squares to bunt, gets it down. This is a perfect bunt to third. Smith with a bare hand, his throw is wide though. Spinning the throw to second, oh boy, they got him. McNulty is picked off second base. Wolf, left side. Lordy's does knock it down, but can't secure it. So Kyle Wolf, two thirds. Spin and a throw. That was a good spot, but not secured. And this time, Magpock moves up to third. And you've got to be paying attention. Now the one, two, off the glove, behind second for Rowe, gets the out and ends the inning. Warmer when they're going in and out, so. That's in for strike three. His last start against Louisville after he was hit around a little bit against Clemson. This is deep to right center field from Landwehr. That's towards the fence and high off the wall. Parker Landwehr has a double. Florida State an easy out. Helps them out. Breaking ball hit out to right field. Tibbs is back onto the track, and again it's off the fence. Landwehr had to hold up so he could only get to third. 
It's a double for Carraher. And Boston College has runners on second and third with one out. First pitch swinging on the ground to second. This will get a run in. Faroe goes to first and gets the out there. So a productive out and an RBI for John Collins. So Carraher's at third now. Here's Sam McNulty. And that is hit hard into left field. Ferrer reaches up and makes the catch. John West, obviously a very personal connection. As that is Williams hitting one. He's gonna try for two and get there. So again, Florida State finds an extra base as Max Williams starts the fifth inning with the double. And that missed low for ball four. As hard as it has all day so far as that's inside, it hit him. For Florida State. So now a 3-1, nowhere to put him. Chopper to second. Samini flips for one. McNulty to first in time, double play. John West gets out of it. Third time through the order. Now West, the most important part of that last inning was not just as he gets the strikeout of Cantu. Has done so well through five and two thirds. Two, two again to left field. Magpock underneath, six innings of two run ball for John West. Hasn't hit a home run in the last 10 games for BC. Hit hard, left side and through. So even with the shift and three guys over there, Wang still finds an avenue into left field. Not yet led today. With the wind blowing as hard as it has all day, Samini knocks it into left field. So the Eagles now, 3-2, checked his swing, no swing on appeal. Landwehr walks. First pitch, skips away from Holbrook. Here comes Wang, the flip is late. And Boston College leads 3-2. That one gets away, and Samini scores. Two runs in on pitches that get away behind the plate. Swing and a miss. Good slider down and in, and that is out number one. Either way he can. Swing into right field. Tibbs in, makes the catch. Landwehr tags. Throw to the plate, cut off, throw back, not in time. Just enough to get Landwehr in from third. And it's 5-2 Boston College. First baseline. McNulty swings it a 3-1. It's right back to Charles, and that does end the inning. Biggest wins of the season. To the left side, McNulty knocks it down. Actually got back to it, but no chance to get the speedy Alex Lodis. Fly ball out to right center. Long run for Leary. He's to the wall and is gone. Max Williams with his fourth home run of the year. And just like that, Florida State is back within one. And he is pumped up. Soon as he turned first base and knew it was gone, he was excited, his teammates were excited. This is what makes this Florida State team so dangerous is yes, they have a number of extra base hits, five extra base hits today. That home run makes it the six, and they are just feeling it again against John West. Swing and a miss. Slider on a one-two. Struck him out. Fastball up. See some of these batters come up for the Eagles. That missed outside. So Magpox starts the inning with a walk. One for three with the single in the third. Inside, it hit him. First and second, one out for Nick Wang. Spin and a throw, and it gets away again. Magpock up to third, Hartzell to second. One, two. To the right side, diving pick by Cantu. Nowhere to go, now he goes to third, and the tag is made. That was not a force play. Cantu was so far off the bag that he probably was not gonna be able to go to first base and get the out himself. No play at the plate, but he makes a really heads up play. The college leads in the seventh pitch. 
to right field. Tibbs started back, now has to come in, but he makes the catch and ends the inning. He is also a hit by pitch and a double, and he lines this one in the left field for a hit. So can't do with his second hit of the game. Hit high in the air to center. Leary's on the run. It's over his head and off the wall. Can't do to third base being sent home. McNulty's throw to third. A double, a pinch hit double, and an RBI for Jackson West. And this is a one run game again. Hit hard, right side. Birch is there and gets the second out. 2 1. Slider up the middle and through. Tie game in Brighton. Chopper, tough play in the hole for Samini. And that ends the inning. That's too high. It's a four pitch walk to start the ninth. The 3 2 is in for strike three. 3 2. A mile high into center field. Ross is underneath for out number two. Wang to left field, in for a hit. No doubles defense from Williams. Magpox going to third, and he gets there. So that's exactly why you play there defensively. And a 1-1 to Samini. Fastball in the air to right field. Tibbs towards the line, still runs it down. Abraham gets the out he needed. And we go to extra innings in Brighton. Cantu now is hit. He goes, pitches high, throw to second base. Is in time! A strike from Landwehr. Schroeder missed inside. 0 oh, 2. Rolled over to the right side. A long run for Wang. He goes to second and ends the inning. 3 1. Breaking ball. Check swing. He did not go. Lead off batter on again for Boston College. And the winning run is on again. 1 2. Curveball again to center. Ross started back. Now coming in, and he makes a diving catch out of their mid-season field projections. Lodis to left field. Magpock gives chase over his head and hops over the fence. A ground rule double for Alex Lodis to start the 11th. Hit hard, right to Wang. He thought about it, but his only play is to first. So Lodis moves up to third. The first thing they're gonna do is intentionally walk Tibbs. So that will set up the force Popped up with the runner off from first. Samini backpedaling and ends the inning. What a job by Eric Schroeder. Abraham who came in in the ninth inning with a couple of runners on base, including Magpop, and he freezed him there. Breaking ball hit high in the air, deep to right field. Larry wins it for Boston College. A hanging curveball sent over the scoreboard and the biggest win of the year for the Eagles. Well, how about that? An 0 for on the day for Leary. Looked like he might go 0 for 6. Behind in the count, he squares it up, stayed back on the breaking ball and launched it over the fence in right. 11 home runs on the season.